Are you looking for the best HDMI switch? We have this one right here. I wanted to talk to you guys about it because I did an unboxing of this thing and you guys had a bunch of questions. There was a few of you that were having issues with like how to get it to switch to the correct HDMI port and I figured it all out. So I'm going to give you guys the full rundown of this thing. First of all, this is the I don't know, S-G-E-Y-R, uh, 5 to 1 HDMI switch. And the way this works, let me get a little light on there for you. In the back, you guys can see there's four HDMI ports. Those are all the inputs right there. And we have a, a Nintendo Wii. We have this uh, Nintendo old school one right there. We also have a, a Super Nintendo right here and a Roku, which is back there, connected to this right here. And then you have your output right here. This is your HDMI out. And that leads up to this projector right there. And that projector throws an image on that wall. And as you can see, we have the Roku up on there pretty much all the time. That thing just stays on. So whenever we go to turn on the projector, this is what's up there. Now, you might want to play Nintendo or something. So you, you know, you want to switch to the right source, right? So you're going to press your switch. It's going to switch over to L2, but nothing happens. Nothing's going on up there. There's no signal. So we're going to press it again. And then we have L5. And some, you notice that we didn't have to go through each different input. And that's because whenever you want to use the device that you're about to switch to, you need to turn it on first. If you don't turn it on, then no power goes to it, and you'll see that whenever I turned it on, L3 lit up, which is what this Nintendo is right there. That other signal was from the Wii, because the Wii is not totally off. It's just on standby right there, so it was just saying, hey, there's no signal coming from this. You know, you need to do something here. So, now that the Nintendo is on, you can see we have a Nintendo up there. Get back to the Roku or another device, you simply press your switch button right there, and this will go to L5, which is the Roku right there, right? So now we're gonna go on over to this one. This is L2 right here. So this is the one that was just blue right there, and there's a box that said no signal on there. And now, we're gonna do our Wii. We're gonna give it some power. We're gonna take it off of standby mode, and then once that thing gets loaded up and whatnot, you'll see that it turns on. So, this, you notice though that the Super Nintendo never turned on right there. It doesn't go to its input because it doesn't have power to it. So that's the big, uh, I think, question or mistake that you guys are having whenever y'all are trying to install your Switch is that you need to switch it, switch the power on before you click the switch button right here on the front so that it actually works for you. So hopefully that helps. This is switch is fantastic right here. I love the construction of it. If you guys wanna see my full unboxing of this thing right here, whenever I first got it to know about the quality and how it all works, I'm gonna put that right there on the screen. You guys go and click that video. I'll see y'all in that video. Thank y'all for watching and dad out.